tremendo beso con el que se despidieron apasionadamente. Que, que va a salir, que se va a llamar Las Tres Torres. Ahí, no, ahí te platico a ti en privado, pero va a ser un disco con tres artistas pasados de verga. Good, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Ayo. Y'all already knew that. And if you didn't, make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Did you guys miss me? Anyways, I'm finally back with another video. Two weeks later, the last time I uploaded a video when I'm sitting in this car talking was two weeks ago. I think it was. It was on a Wednesday. And this time I'm doing the video earlier than usual. I still got the shade. The sun ain't hitting this time. And because of that, y'all can see my flaws and shit. I've been breaking out lately like crazy. I'm gonna go get a fresh cut later. But yeah, I woke up almost two hours ago. I went for my morning walk. And then, you know, I just decided to get in the whip and do this video for you guys. So that's why I'm looking a little bit nappy, but don't judge me. But anyway, finally back with another video. Today, we got some juicy topics. Nothing too crazy. You know, the cheese has been dry lately. Damn, that shit rhymed. But, you know, I was like, fuck it. Let's just do this video. You guys deserve that shit. And, you know, we just gotta keep running up the views. Keep running up the subs because at 10K, Shit's gonna change around here. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm gonna have a new intro, a new name. And I left a little preview of it. Just a little tiny piece on my Instagram, Yayo underscore television. So make sure to go check that out. But anyway, I don't want to be talking too much. I just wanted to update you guys a little bit on my life. I'm wearing this fucking Braves hat because my team, the Dodgers, they're sucking ass right now. So I was like, you know what? Let's just make matters worse and shit and wear the fucking Braves hat. Why not? But let's just hop into today's video. And also, I'm gonna try to hurry with this video before the sun hits me and shit. Because right now, the shade, I'm chilling. But once that sun starts hitting, it's a wrap. But as always for these videos, I start off with new music for the week. And you know there's a lot of music that releases, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to mainly be focusing on the more hype stuff. Maybe just like one, two, three artists. Tops, I'm going to just be talking about three artists. So let's just hop straight to it. This week, for Thursday, which is tomorrow, we got Los Peligrosos dropping Coca con Alcohol. I was there when they filmed the video. Let me just say that song is a fucking banger. Y'all ain't ready for that shit. Underrated Los Peligrosos, of course. Make sure to check them out tomorrow, Coca con Alcohol on the DMG channel. Next up, we got Manny Tololoche, one of the best Tololoche players out there. If y'all don't know who he is, and you're probably living in a cave. He's played the Tololoche for almost every Rancho Mille artist. And he has a song that released about a year ago, or maybe like over a year ago. It's called No Somos Payasos, but on Thursday, tomorrow, he's gonna be re-releasing it, this time with the feature with Nata. I'm kind of curious to hear that, to see how it sounds with Nata. But yeah, No Somos Payasos, Manny Tololoche featuring Nathaniel Cano. Make sure to go check that out tomorrow on Rancho Mille's channel. And lastly, another Rancho Mille artist, Grupo Codiciado, one of Rancho Mille's OGs. They're dropping an album on Friday, La Verdad. And honestly, Grupo Codiciado was one of my favorites back in like 2016. So I'm kind of hyped to hear that as well. But Grupo Codiciado, La Verdad, make sure to go check that album out, dropping on Friday. But I'm pretty sure it's gonna drop tomorrow night for Pacific and Central Time people. And then, you know, Friday morning, I guess, for all you Eastern people. So that was it for new music releases. Like I said, I'm gonna just be focusing on the more hyped up stuff. And I probably won't go over three artists per each video, so that's that. And, you know, just a little update on Tercer Elemento. I know you guys were waiting on a video on that. But like I said, I don't really have too many details. If you guys have details, make sure to send them in. Probably comment them down below. Maybe DM me them. I'll try to check my DMs, but if you got information on Tercel Elemento, make sure to send that shit my way. And then maybe when I get the info, maybe I'll be able to do a video on it. I'll keep you guys updated, but make sure if you got information to send that shit my way. Next up, we got another little preview from Pedro from Eslabón Armado. A lot of people were saying that all his songs are sounding the same, but honestly, I think he's just doing these songs for fun. I don't really think he's too serious about them, and if he is serious about them, obviously he would try to mix up the sound in the studio recording. But like I said, he's just vibing, he's just coming up with all his music, he's recording that shit himself, and he's playing it for you guys on his lives. And here's a little preview of it. It's a minute long, but let me know what you guys think, so here you go. <laughs> Solo pa' marte Cuando lloraba Yo iba para llorarte Y pues la neta De la nada cambiaste Porque lo haces A poco es fácil Quebrar amor de alguien No tienes corazones Solo veo muy bien So there you have it. Like I said, Pedro from Eslabón Armado. He's previewing a shit ton of songs. A lot of Sim songs. And just a little update on their album. He said their album is dropping sometime in November. 
So make sure to stay tuned for that. So that was it for that. You know, Pedro, a little preview. Hopefully this shit also doesn't get overplayed by TikTok already because that other song that he made for Lilu. I've kind of been hearing it all over TikTok recently, but you know, we'll just have to wait and see. Next up, these two things are from last week, but I never really got to speak on them because I never did a video. But these two things are involving Nata. So first, we have this. I'm just throwing a little clip right here. So as you can see, this dude Nata has a girlfriend. So for all you people that were assuming that he was gay or something, I guess he isn't. Or I mean, maybe he's bi, shit, who knows. But anyway, this dude got a girlfriend. She looked pretty bad. People were commenting her at on the comments when I posted this on Yayo underscore television. I just don't remember it right now. But I'll throw it up on the screen right here. I'm pretty sure it's her, you know, comparing the pictures to the video. But if it isn't, I mean, shit, this girl's still pretty bad. And then Nata's girl's pretty bad too. So for all you thinking that Nata and Novi were in a relationship, I guess y'all were wrong. And also involving Nata, Jimmy had this to say when he was live with Pepe Garza. I'm gonna just throw it in right here as well. I wanted, no era de que... Él, él incluso no podía porque él está allá en Miami grabando un chingo de temas para un disco que, que va a salir, que se va a llamar Las Tres Torres. Ahí, no, ahí te platico a ti en privado, pero va a ser un disco con tres artistas pasados de verga. Entonces este güey ha andado en Miami um, uh, grabando y grabando videos. So as you can see, Jimmy was talking about Nata, how he's in Miami recording a project that's going to be called Las Tres Torres, which is going to be including three other artists, which I'm not sure who they're going to be. A lot of people were saying that one of them is Ovi, and then another one's Anuel, and then I don't know who else. Um, let me know what you guys think, who you guys think he's going to be recording songs with. I mean, he is in Miami, you know, in Florida, home of all these trap artists. So let me know what you guys think, who you think he's recording songs with. Is this project Las Tres Torres going to be Correos Tumbados, Trap? Is it going to be both? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And lastly, like I said, I don't want to make this video too long. My fucking eyes over here twitching and shit. I didn't want to make this video too long, but lastly, we got... Yuvia and Ivonne Galas. If you guys don't know who this is, just because they're girls, Ivonne Galas is an artist for Rancho Milde. She had a requintista, which was Yuvia, who you guys may know as Tony Loya's requintista now. So basically, they were having beef when Yuvia left Ivonne, probably like a couple months ago. And then that's when Yuvia came to DMG and then with Tony and then, you know, all this other shit happened. But that's when she came to be, you know, Tony Loyal's Requintista. And, you know, like I said, they were having beef. Even Yuvia hit me up after she saw my first video, you know, the first video I ever did on music. She hit me up saying that everything I was saying was true. That, you know, those people aren't what they seem. And, you know, basically they were just beefing it back and forth. And then eventually, I guess they came to good terms because I remember both of them posting stuff back and forth about each other. You know, that they were out. Um, they were just pretty much having a good time and shit. But then recently, you know, the beef, it came back to life and shit. You know, some zombie type shit, some walking dead type shit. You know, just as we thought, bygones were bygones. They're beefing it again. And I didn't really know about this just because I don't really pay attention to stories sometimes. I just be skipping through those shit. But then, you know, someone told me to check my DM and then I checked the DM and then it was about their beef. So I'm gonna just be throwing in the clips that he sent me. And I forgot his name. I don't feel like checking right now, but I'm gonna just throw in his at right here. So shout out to you, my boy. But anyway, here are the clips. <laughs> As y'all can see, that's pretty much what they had to say about each other. And no, I do not have the details about this. I don't know why they're beefing it. If I didn't really know why they were beefing it before this new beef and then before they made up, then of course I'm not going to know what's up with the new beef. But maybe once I get the details, I'll let you guys know if you guys are really interested in this beef. But I think that was it for this video. I don't really want to drag this video too long. It's too early for this shit. I'm fucking sleepy as fuck. I got to go edit this video before I go get my cut. But anyway, like I said, if you guys want that Tercer Elemento video, if you guys have details on that shit, shoot that shit my way. Same thing with the UV and Yvonne beef. If you guys want a little update on that, make sure to send the info my way. But if I don't really get information, then I can't do videos. And if I'm being honest, I don't really be doing the research myself. A lot of people think that I'm really nosy like that, that I just be in everyone's cheese man shit. But like I've said before, probably like 80% of the shit I post is stuff that people sends me. I don't really be searching shit up like that. If anything, I'm not really on Instagram like that. I even have my notifications off just because that shit kind of bugs me. But that's that. Like I said, we're almost at 8.5K. Once I hit 10K, shit's gonna change around here. But that was it for this video. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more banger videos. Cause I'm Yayo. They love Yayo.
vibra, siempre cargo en el carro con mi compa Kiki.